everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Aloha from Maui, Hawaii. I am Terry Edmonds. Yay! We are live on Amazon together. This is awesome. So uh, this is a little different venue for those of you that are uh, have are following and have seen my show before. I am a cobbler. I own a shoe store, which we are in uh, my Danner showroom today. And I am really excited because I get to share with you some of my top picks for Danner work boots. Uh, I've been in the shoe profession for 20 years, and I especially deal with people with hard to fit feet. So everything in my showroom, uh, I bring in in a wide size, and Danner's wide happens to be double E. So that's pretty much all I really carry. I do, they offer a work boot line, a military line, a hunting line, and a tactical line. They also offer a line for women. I know that everybody's ordering online these days. The ways you can reach me is through my website, terryedmonds.com. Also, I have this awesome Amazon Live uh, channel that I air every Thursday and Friday at 9 o'clock Hawaii Standard Time. And on my Amazon, on my website, terryedmonds.com, there's the Amazon link right on the front. You can click it, and it's going to take you to my Amazon shopping cart. You can buy all of the supplies that I offer, everything from repairing shoes also to Danner boots. So that's pretty exciting. Amazon's offering so many things. And you can also see my videos. So if I mention something here, for instance, I'm going to be talking about cleaning your boots and caring for them. All of these supplies are on previous videos, so feel free to search them out. For t but for today, it's just a boot review. I really want to be able to help you when you're trying to shop from home. So here we go. Uh, first, we're going to start with my uh, very, very uh, favorite. It's one of the new ones that Danner has brought in for the 2020, and it's the Steel Yard. And this is our steel yard. It's a lightweight boot, you know, it's got a uh, heel here, so it's great for ladders. Um, they also offer this with a leather uh, cover for the laces for you guys who are, you know, using all of your, um, you know what they're called, that cause sparks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, it's really, really great. So this boot comes in the six inch. It also comes in the eight inch. This is the six inch right here. And the eight inch would be about this tall. I don't have it because I offer a bunch of different um, Danners in the eight inch. Um, so uh, this is really great. It also comes in a Wellington and I will, a Wellington means it's a pull-on. And uh, I'm definitely carrying this Wellington. It's so awesome. I'm gonna be talking more about the Wellingtons. I'll be giving you options. I carry uh, one, two, three, four, five choices. I think all of the Danner Wellingtons are great. So anyway, look at that, that's so nice. And, uh, but we're not gonna cover that so much today. In my opinion on the uh, steel yard is that it tends to run truth size. So if, and Danner does too. So if you are a 12, it, it's gonna be a 12. <clears throat> Lengthwise, I think Danner does a really awesome job. I think on a scale of one to five, five being the widest, this is a really good one. This is probably four. So I think if you've got you know a, a really wide foot, which we do out here in Hawaii, we have the Tongans, the Fijians, the Samoans, the... <laughs> The mainlanders, I've got wide feet, so uh, they're really great about that. Uh, the other nice thing, um, this one I happen to bring in without the safety toe, but it comes with the safety toe. And um, I don't know, I thought I'd try it because I offer so many with the safety toe. I thought I'd give my clients a little different option because it's kind of a lightweight boot. Uh, this boot right here, as I have it, without the safety toe is 64 ounces. So that's pretty nice. Um, it's got a great tread. It's not too high, uh, but this one is oil and slip resistant. So also let's talk about, it's a durable full grain. It doesn't have very much um, material on it. I happen to pick the waterproof, but it comes in uh, with or without waterproof. 
So um, it also comes with or without the safety uh, toe, and it's a, it's a steel toe. And it also comes with the uh, metatarsal support. So there are some uh, uh, municipalities that require that you have that extra layer, and this is offered in it. Uh, although they didn't make it in the waterproof in, in that uh, category. But I buy everything waterproof. You know, heck, if it rains or if you want to wash off your boots and stuff, it's just, it's easier and it's not ugh, that much hotter. I think people are concerned that it's going to heat their feet. So, um, yeah, so that's a really great boot. Um, I'm going to read some more about it. So this is a breathable mesh lining in all of them or in three of the styles. Uh, it has waterproof protection. It offers a uh, their comfort system uh, platform. It has a steel shank. That's really important. Some guys really need that. If you're, uh, you know, I get guys that come in from the electric company that are climbing the poles and they need it. So this is really nice. And uh, they don't offer this in every one of their boots, but it does come in this one. And this is their D, uh, Danner comfort support system. It's nice, it gives you extra cushion around the heel, but that reminds me, um, you know, they make this boot to fit everybody. And the way you can get that boot to fit extra great for you is to put your own orthotic inside it. Something with some arch support. I'm gonna grab one to show you. So I carry this brand called Power Step and I have them in my shoes that I'm wearing right now. I have them in my running shoes. And, um, you know, they uh, give you a little bit of arch support and they don't cost too much. They're, you know, they range in prices, of course, depending when you're watching this video in case you're seeing it on the replay. Um, but I carry them. I think they're best for the price. They hold their shape. The arch stays there. So I always recommend to a client, you know, if you are going to be wearing this every day, you're that guy that you buy this one boot and you wear it every single day, then I would add an orthotic and it's the Power Step orthotics and they offer them in sizes 10, 10 half in one size. So if you were a 10 half, you would order the 10, 10 half. Okay. So those are really great. And uh, then they also, like I say, they meet all of the requirements. Um, it has a oil and slip resistant outsole. Um, and it also has, it's called the uh, Danner Steel Yard Outsole, and it's meant specifically for this, for giving you uh, traction when you're up climbing around and, you know, working on all those metal surfaces. So there we have it. We have the Danner Steel Yard. Give you a close-up picture of it. There we go. It's very nice. It's nice. It's got a great, uh, great hardware in it that lie really flush against the boot. Um, I always like the laces that I'm gonna get in more view for you guys here. Like I said, it's hard on these uh, Amazon cameras. So let's talk a little bit more about um, how I would care for this boot. It is all full grain leather. Um, I would clean it if, if you're that into it. I mean, some guys just beat the heck out of their boots and go to work, go to work, go to work. Cool. For that guy, I have a suggestion. And even if it has got, you know, if you are a contractor, you're working with drywall or cement and you've got that dust on your shoe, that's the first thing that eats away at the leather. So I say um, for a real easy solution for you is to uh, get the Neats foot oil. Okay, I get, I get this in the gallon and because um, I'm a shoe repair. I'm Maui Hawaii's only shoe repair. So I get the Neats foot oil and I put it into a, a jar or a Tupperware dish, doesn't matter. I dedicate one paintbrush to it and then I just slather it on. Cover the laces, cover the threads. It keeps those, especially if you work in a steel yard and, uh, oh gosh, what is that name is slipping me? <laughs> Anyway, uh, sparks, you got sparks. It dries out the uh, threads and believe it or not, even with that drywall and stuff, it dries out the threads. So if you're bending down a lot, you wanna be sure to really cover it with some oil. I had, I did a Amazon video about how to care for your boots. So, and if it's not there, you'll find it on my YouTube channel, Terry Edmonds. And uh, so these are great, nice laces. It's got great padding inside. It's not too, um, it's not too stiff or too firm. That's that's always nice. 
So uh, that's the steel yard for you. Uh, the next one we are going to talk about is the Bull Run Mock Toe. Let's just see here. Uh, this is a real classic. I know Red Wing carries them. Um, let's see here. There we go. They've been around forever. Uh, these are recraftable, um, and I'll show you what they look like. This is the Bull Run Mock Toe. It is a full grain leather. It has no lining. So, um, I'll move this out of the way for us. Uh, it's made in uh, their Portland factory and uh, they've just so wonderful there. And it is recraftable, meaning you can get the soles repaired. And um, you know, Danner, I, I can do your cobbler, local cobbler can usually repair a work boot like this. But I say, just send them back to Danner. <laughs> Tanner uses the same last that they use to make the boot. And so they just make them so perfect. It's like getting a brand new boot, really. But I know that some guys, they break these in and they just love that they're all soft and molded to their foot. Some guys do take care of them and put the right conditioners and cleaners on it. And so uh, this is just a really great boot. Let me give you guys a close up there. And, uh, you know, of course, Danner sells the replacement laces. I sell this one with the white sole is primarily to, you know, this is uh, great for guys that are doing roofing. Uh, they don't want heels that are gonna catch them on things. So uh, roofing, a lot of tile setters like this boot. It's non-marking. So if they have to go into a client's house, you know, it won't leave red or black streaks around the property around their to be tile floors and things like that. So this is a really great boot. Um, this does come with and without the safety toe. Uh, it is already oiled. It is a leather upper, new buck leather upper. It's the mock toe design, uh, cushioning open cell uh, light bed. So this is the um, kind of the standard orthotic for them. Let's just open it up and see inside. Uh, Danner sells these replacement laces. And one thing that um, they don't tell, I, I'm, show, I'm looking at this great catalog. I love the Danner catalog. It's easier for me than any of the websites. So I just, because I really wanna be able to tell you guys, you know, if it comes with or without the safety toe, if it's got waterproofing, these are not waterproof. They're just, they have no lining inside and they are just a new buck. So great for hot weather work, things like that. They do break in, which is lovely. And um, what they don't tell me in these catalogs is what size laces. So whenever you're ordering laces online, be sure to take out your old lace and measure it. Okay, because the packages say, well, if it has nine eyelets, then you get this certain size. And I don't really find that to be true. So I would definitely measure your uh, laces. And let's just look at this. And I brought a sample of the laces. Yes, I did. So this is the Ortholite. It's very light, again, very airy, um, just a super lightweight orthotic. And uh, again, you know, I say step up your game. Take care of your feet. You're earning a living with these shoes and you're going to spend some money on these shoes. So make it feel good. I mean, I'm standing all day on concrete and my feet do not hurt at the end of the day. So that's what I wish for you <laughs> because we're trying to, you know, out there every day working and making a living. So laces, we've got great options. Uh, Danner does a whole bunch of options. They offer, um, they offer red, black, brown. Um, these are your basic replacements for the uh, mock toe. And uh, of course I carry them in all the sizes because I like to have options in case you do come to my store on Maui. Uh, also, they offer some fantastic socks and they are so great. So um, I'm also going to be doing a Danner review for uh, hiking and hunting and so we'll talk about some of those. Uh, this one is a great one. It's got a lot of cushion, you know, um, they make them in the shorter size. I carry this because I sell a lot of the 8 inch boots to people but there are shorter sizes. This one's called the Drymax, and so it's meant to be uh, nice and airy. It's a merino 
uh, wool, I believe these are merino wool, but it whips, it whisks the moisture away and allows your foot to breathe. So that helps for people that have sweaty feet and I need people that do. So, and then I've got this really great pair of socks. This is a, a long one. It's great for the, again, the high boots, you know, maybe if you've got the Wellington. And so these are really great. They've got all this cushion that just lasts all day. They're, you know, they're pricey. So uh, you're investing in yourself. All right, that's our Bull Run Mock Toe. Um, they do not offer this in any size but this. However, they offer great colors. So I have, I've got the um, tobacco, I think this is the brown. This is the brown. And then I've got the black. Isn't that fun? Super nice, love it. And this is kind of like the, I'm seeing this starting to sell more than the browns these days. So, and it's usually kind of the, the hip guys. Anyway, then they're also offering this one. This is not the Bull Run Mock Toe, but this is such a nice boot. Hello, that's gorgeous. Um, so you get lots of options. This one, you it's not good to oil it because um, it's more of the new buck. And then, um, well, we'll skip that. But there is this other one that's um, in one of their shorter lines and it's this boot. This is, I just have the style number on it, but it's a nice boot. I actually um, have got a contractor that loves these and wears them all the time. So great boot, same thing, uh, non-insulated. Okay, so that was really fun. Let's move on to our third choice. All right, uh, number three for me is the track welt. And this is our track welt. Let me grab this side one here. This is a little bit uh, beefier shoe compared to, I don't want to get this lost, uh, compared to that la the last one I just showed you. You know, it's got, um, it does have a lining. This one is waterproof and it's got an extra toe shield on the front, which is nice. I have a lot of contractors that uh, bend down and they, you know, are constantly trying to deal with their front of their toes getting holes in them. And especially when you have the safety toe, it's hard to repair after that. There is a product that is made called Toe Armor and um, it's a wonderful, you just spread it on. It is like truck bed liner. It's black and kind of uh, got a, it's like I got a crumbly texture to it and it just smears on. And as it wears off over time, you just add more to it. So I always like to suggest that for people. So this is the track welt. Here's a close up to it. That's a nice boot. It's got a great sole. It's really tough. This is much more tough than the last, um, than that first one. So here we talked about the uh, steel yard. And if you're just tuning in, or if you're watching this on replay, I have, uh, I'll be separating each of these little segments out for you just for searching for the steel yard. Um, so here's the sole. It's pretty darn rugged. I would recommend this boot. And because it's this, it comes in the six inch and it also comes in the eight inch. It's likely, I believe it comes insulated. No, does not offer an insulation on it. But you know, this to me is like your everyday contractor. You're doing all kinds of work. You are, you know, bending and stuff. So you kind of need that low rise on this. Um, I also see this in the taller version and it comes with the Wellington version. Let me show you. I don't have the eight inch in stock, but I do have the, the Wellington. So this is the Wellington and I'll be doing a segment just on the Wellingtons. If, unless we have, uh, if we have time today, we might cover it today. Uh, but this is the uh, track welt Wellington and it uh, is the waterproof. It's using the Danner Dry in, uh, lining. And um, I'd say it's still breathable because they are not making them insulated. I think they're expecting guys to be, you know, like I see a roadside crew working in this boot. Uh, really good one to kick around, even that the shorter one here. I think these are both really great for that kind of a job. Something where you're not, well, this one you can climb ladders in. You know, I'd never recommend a Wellington for a project where you're climbing ladders or you, or you don't, if you need the ankle support, 
then this is not the boot for that project. You want to do this one or ha get it in the 8 inch. Uh, so this has got the Danner slip and oil resistant um, outer sole, which is very nice. Let's see if they come with the uh, steel shank. Uh, this has the uh, uh, Goodyear welt, so it's meant to really last a long time. Uh, let's see, cushioning footbed. Uh, it has the oil and slip resistant up to 90 degrees in heat. So again, when I said a road crew, that's exactly what they're talking about. I think that's just who they designed this for. So if they're really hot, as a shoe cobbler, I have seen really hot shoes come unglued. And it's, you know, it's kind of tricky. So it's nice that they're offering that good welt, good year welt, because that will help. Um, so wonderful. And then it has the safety toe, which is the non-metallic toe, and it meets all of the safety requirements. So super awesome boot. Totally like the track welt. Um, I don't think that they make these replacement laces, but you could always buy the brown. You know, they offer them in black, and I'm not sure if they have a dark brown with Danner. Um, and again, you want to count the late, the count, you actually want to pull the laces out to uh, measure how long they are before you order your laces because it's not always the same as it says on the packaging. So, how would you care for this boot? Uh, to me, I'm, if I'm seeing somebody like a road crew, somebody that's out in the heat, they're probably, they might be getting with oil. They might be digging and have dirt, a lot of dirt on their shoes and dirt and sand like to dry out uh, material. So I think what I would suggest, if the client wants to take the first step and clean the boot, then I recommend the Easy Suede Cleaner. Um, after that, your choices are putting on a lotion, you know, a cream, or doing an oil base. Probably, you know, out here in Hawaii, uh, we get the mold tend, oil-based products tend to um, keep the mold around. So if uh, here, if I had somebody living in a very wet area, I probably would recommend more of a boot dressing like Danner offers or even the conditioner. I am a super huge fan of this Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion. I wish that they made it for human beings because it restores everything. Hello, bye-bye wrinkles. <laughs> so I love this stuff. Um, if you are deciding to go in the oil route, then I recommend, and if you're gonna do it often, I recommend going ahead and getting yourself a, just a spare container and um, having a dedicated paintbrush. And then you just take your paintbrush and you just slather that leather the oil all over everything, including all of the laces. You really wanna do that because those can dry out too. Um, a lot of stuff can be repaired, stitches and things like that. You can take them to a cobbler like myself and we do things like that. But just doing some preventative measures is really nice. Um, we'll talk about these products more later, but you can also do some uh, waterproofing Danner offers a, a lot of really great products and we'll talk about that. It's a spray. In my opinion, I will say that you can never really waterproof a boot that's not waterproof. <laughs> so you can help, you can add products that will allow moisture to maybe roll off the shoe easier. Um, but uh, I'd say Danner knows what they're doing when it comes to waterproofing. They actually invented Gore-Tex. So they they're really have the clients in mind. So if they say that that's the product to use, I say, I believe it. All right. So that we are done with the track welt for now. All right, the crafter. I love the crafter. If, if you really want a comfortable boot, the crafter is super lightweight. It's also a light duty boot. So um, this is the crafter. It is such an all-purpose boot and lightweight. I think if I did, um, you know, like I said, if I was working inside, if I was a contractor working inside a home, this is pretty good, you know. I mean, they come waterproof, if you like, with or without. They come with or without the safety toe. They are, um, they have a little bit of synthetics on them. They are lined. I'll tell you more about them. So it is uh, waterproof. 
It has a broader toe box for a more responsive fit. <laughs> That's so sassy, I gotta learn to use those terms. All right, and then it has a dual density footbed for cushioning and underfoot air circulation. Uh, it has a nylon shank and it also um, slip resistant, so that's really great. So gosh, I mean, this boot would be great for, I, if I were a mechanic, I'd probably use this boot. Like I said, if I was doing indoor, like if I were doing framing, things like that, I'd probably use this boot. It's got the, a uh, little bit of a heel to grab onto the ladder if you need. It's so lightweight. And then as I suggest to everybody, they make this boot for everyone but personalize it with an orthotic. <laughs> it is the way to be on your feet all day long is by adding an orthotic to it. And the Power Step orthotics fit true to size. So if you are an 11, you can order an 11 Power Step and you can have an 11 size Danner boot and you just take out the original insole and you slide this in, okay? And uh, they're just so great. How would I care for this boot? Oh, well, let's also touch base here. So this comes in the six inch, but it also comes in the eight inch. Look at that, that's so nice. So I think this would be really great if somebody was maybe an arborist, you know, you're doing more tree climbing. Um, you know, you can have the safety toe just in case you're using a chainsaw, uh, but you also have a lot of agility. That's kind of hard I'll put it next to my white skin. <laughs> you see it easier. Um, but again, it's, uh, you know, oil and slip resistant. This would make, um, I probably, if I was a mechanic, no. But maybe if I were uh, driving um, big heavy duty trucks, you know, if I was that guy, this is a great boot, still have some support and even, even doing it in the six inch, of course. But you know, I guess if I'm doing a lot of shoveling, I want some ankle support. I'm climbing on some uneven ground. I'd want some ankle support, I think, long-term. Cause you're not, if you're doing that kind of work, you're not climbing in and out of this boot all day. It's one time you're in, you're powering it out and then there you go. So this would be a really great boot. And remember it is waterproof. There we go. So there we have that. This is an awesome boot. Uh, they also happen to make this crafter in a Wellington, which I will remind you is the pull-on. So here we have the uh, crafter Wellington. This is my number one boot, my, my number one slip-on boot. However, I think that steel yard Wellington that I showed everyone is probably gonna end up being my number one, but for now, this is it. It's simple, waterproof. I do all kinds of things to these boots to help guys. For instance, if you've got, you can't get your foot in because you've got a big ankle or a big um, instep here, I can actually cut it, put a zipper in for you and you can zip those on and off. I just had a client that uh, wanted it shorter, so I actually, shortened it to here and move this top down onto it to kind of give it a more finished look. Uh, but he was a good client, so I wanted to take it to the extra level, but you can go to a cobbler and have them help you with those things. The sky is the limit, especially when you've got a good cobbler around. So it's, the Workman's not my fave, it's not my number one favorite boot because my number one favorite sells a lot. <laughs> But I think personally selling Danners for so long, my number one favorite boot is the Workman. And this is the Workman. It has uh, stitch down technology. So meaning it can be repaired. It has, it's all leather, which is really nice. I have some clients that work um, back in the wilderness uh, clearing fence lines, doing animal control, things like that. And uh, it, they, when they, they sometimes have to land into these remote places and helicopters. So they have to, according to the requirements and the, in their policies, they have to have all leather and it's less fireproof, I guess. I mean, it's less, it's more fireproof than something that's nylon. So that's great about this boot. It is all leather. Um, it does uh, come waterproof. Uh, they're all waterproof, which is great because I could see somebody being 
I, I don't know, it's a jack of all trades kind of boot. That's what I love about it. Um, I, you know, my fiance is my test guinea pig for all my shoes because he's a hard worker. He puts miles on them. He does all kinds of things in them. So this is his favorite and it's his favorite in the eight inch. And here is the eight inch. I also brought it in in the eight inch with the steel toe. That's what I offer, but it comes without the safety toe. I just think that a guy that's needing this boot is probably going to be doing things like cutting down trees and you know working with chainsaws working on walking over uneven ground uh, so uh, my fiance loves this boot I love it because it's got a nice wide fit it fits almost everybody that I put into it and I specialize in wide sizes so if you are a medium width and you have worn a uh, medium sizes don't get the wide. Danner runs very medium in their medium. So I almost never bring that size in. Uh, but anyway, so how would I care for this boot? First off, because this boot is made to fit every foot, I would personalize it by putting in an orthotic. I like the power steps. I found nothing like them. For a reasonable price, they offer you a firm arch support. And it's hard to get that without getting a custom orthotic. Custom orthotics are really, really hard and um, they're expensive. These, you can just replace these. I mean, I have them in the shoes that I'm wearing. I stand on concrete all day long and my feet never hurt at the end of the day. I wear them in my running shoes and I wear them in my work shoes. So that's the other suggestion. Uh, depending on what type of work you do, how you care for it is kind of similar in the sense that um, you can choose or not to clean them first. I recommend it, especially if you're dealing with any kind of mold. This is a really great cleaner. Um, it's called the Lincoln Easy Sway Cleaner. And I do have some Amazon videos in my Amazon shopping cart about cleaning and conditioning. So conditioning is my next suggestion. If you buy anything, I would buy this bottle of Neat's Foot Oil or this bottle of uh, this Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion. As a 20 year shoe professional and a cobbler, um, I really, really recommend the Cadillac. It, it tends to protect the boot. It kind of, kind of cleans it, but it also protects it and it revives it. Uh, just amazing how much this, and it doesn't attract mold. It actually helps prevent it from getting mold. So if you're in a moldy area, the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Care Leather Lotion, it's awesome. I think they changed that name to Leather Lotion because it used to be Shoe Care. <laughs> I had that memorized, now it's Leather Lotion. Anyway, uh, then there's the Neat's Foot Oil. So if you are using this boot at a particular uh, job that creates dust, if you're in the dirt a lot, if you are laying concrete, if you work with drywall and your shoes tend to get really dusty in whatever way, I would probably clean them off. But some guys are so tired, you're tired at the end of the day, right? You pull in your garage, you take off your boots, and I'd recommend keeping a jar of oil next to wherever you do that and uh, a dedicated oil brush, just an old brush and keep it with it and then you just slather it on. It doesn't have to be time consuming or troublesome. It just saves your boot and it'll totally dry up by the next morning when you go to put them back on. So if you really love it, like this boot is recraftable. So that means that it can be repaired and resold. I don't wanna repair them and resold them even though I'm a really good cobbler because Danners are so well made, <laughs> oh my gosh. You still have to take things apart to put them all back together again and it's really hard to do because they do such a good job so uh, but this boot is something you could keep in your uh, wardrobe on the replay I'm showing a picture and it'll be in this corner here of some of my clients they sent me these pictures of their Danners that are like 25 30 years old they're awesome and so they're really great. Anyway, if that's what you choose to do, then I go for one of the options. Also with this boot, I also recommend maybe going with the boot dressing. This is by Danner and um, it's really great. It's like a wax in a way. I, I call it like a wax, but it's, it's kind of a wax slash cream. In my 
business of repair, which has been around for years and centuries or whatever, uh, we've used a wax and we also use a cream polish. In my opinion, this is kind of a combination of both. So it's two steps in one. And Danner made it for their own products, so I think we could definitely trust it. Danner is almost 100 years old. They started in 1932. Wow. Okay, so we're moving on. Let's get to the next set of boots, which is da, 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 my best seller. All right, this is the Vicious. And I think it's the best seller because it hits all the marks. This is my best selling boot right here in this color, okay? And I got it in the composite toe. It's lightweight. It is super durable. Other than having, it doesn't have the toe guard on the front, but you can buy a toe armor that I've used over and over. It's like a truck bed liner. It is ugly, so the, the toe armor, so when you do it, make sure that you don't care what it looks like because it looks like truck bed liner. But if you're a guy that just loves your boot like this, if I had a plumber, let's say they're on their knees a lot and they are got this toe on the ground or even mechanics, they, they want to get extra protection. So getting that toe armor is really nice. Um, but other than that, this boot meets every need. I mean, it's durable. It's got a nice kick guard on the back. Um, they offer it. I carry it in all the colors. So this is, Another, this is one of them here in the black and the blue. It's nice. And I will also show you. Here they are in the brown and the orange. It's got nice laces on it. So this is really great boot. And the most fabulous of all of them, I think, because I love this boot, it's so awesome, is the eight inch. So this is the eight inch. And um, to me, this is a boot for someone, you know, again, kind of if you're working in backcountry, if you've got a farm and you want to have protection, you know, you're mucking around the animals or you're, uh, you know, working on your back woods or something like that, that's a great boot. If you are maybe a contractor and you're doing some really heavy duty stuff, you know, you're maybe up and down the ladders all day. Hmm, I don't know, maybe. But I think I would do this more around heavy equipment. If you're, you know, you've got a lot of tools around your feet, if you've got a, you know, you're working in a base yard or something like that. So love this boot. Um, I always talk about how my fiance is my guinea pig and has to try everything. And this was the one that he was wearing all the time until he got spoiled on the workman eight inch. And now he's like, that's my favorite boot. But he wears them all and he's a hard worker. So I've had him, you know, tried and true. Uh, Danner offers, well, let's, let's keep moving here. I wanna just go over a couple more things with this boot. So how would I care for this boot? Let's see how our time's going great. Uh, as always, they make these boots to fit everybody, which is wonderful. But if you want to personalize it a little bit more and get the extra comfort, spend a little bit more and buy a power step or some kind of an orthotic. But this, the only reason why I keep recommending the power step is because I happen to know that it's got a nice firm arch that holds its shape all throughout the year. So it doesn't break down on you and it's so reasonable. If you go with a full, a, a, um, your classic uh, orthotic that's custom made, they're usually very, very hard and they're very expensive. And they're, to me, they're not enjoyable at all. I like to have a little arch support because I'm standing on concrete all day long and I run. So I wear them in my running shoes and my work shoes. How would I care for these boots? Well, I think in general, I would go ahead and go with the, I would first, I'd probably spray it. It's got a, let me see what this leather's called on here. Uh, so durable waterproof leather upper with abrasion resistant heel cap, breathable Gore-Tex, breathable lining. It has a moisture wicking lining. It has, uh, you can get insulation on these up to 400 grams for you guys in the cool country. Um, it does come with the nylon shank. 
uh, because of this, um, it has an oil and slip resistant outsole. Oh my gosh, and it has uh, a superior indoor and outdoor traction with a low profile heel. I mean, I'm telling you, this boot is everything. This is awesome. You can't go wrong. It tends to run, it has a wide toe box, in my opinion. It fits all my wide customers, especially if they're really wide. Um, and then because you're working in it, I would go ahead and put a product on it. And I would probably do, I'd probably first start with maybe this Cadillac Shield. I like it, it kind of protects the new buck a little bit. Or, and uh, the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion. <laughs> This stuff is awesome, works on everything. It will restore the worst of leathers. It will keep your boots from drying out. I mean, I think your boots have a better chance of getting old on the top than they do coming unglued. So, I mean, I've, I've, I've been selling these Danners for a long time and I've yet to see a person wear out the sole. Hmm, maybe that's not so true, but I just take my word for it. They stay glued really long. I never get them coming back unglued. Um, but the Danner does come with a one year warranty against defects. So if it is a problem of the manufacturing, they're really good about it. So um, don't hesitate, either come back, to, if you bought it in the showroom, come back to see me or where your dealer that you bought it from, um, uh, or they also do uh, have a great warranty. So be sure to keep your warranty card and your receipts from when you bought them. All right, so that was super fun. Um, I'm gonna just cover the supplies one more time um, to give you some options. And let's talk about some real basics again, just to, as an overall recap, okay? And for those of you that are watching this on the replay, uh, this is some good info. All right, Danner runs very true to size. If you are an 11, I think you can feel comfortable ordering an 11. If you're not quite sure, Danner, if you order from Danner or Amazon, they have a really great uh, return policy or exchange, which is super. Um, you can also uh, go into a shop like mine. I have If The Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii, where I specialize in great work boots. Look at all these work boots, it's awesome. And there you get customer service. Uh, you can really have somebody, you can try it on, see how it feels, and that's really great, and you support us. You also support me by shopping on my Amazon shopping cart. If you're watching this on YouTube in the replay, my Amazon shopping cart is amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Terry Edmonds. <laughs> and there it's got all of my favorite products listed and it's really easy to find and it looks very much like this. It just scrolls and you've got all of my favorite picks right there and you support me by shopping there. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, I also have a website, terryedmonds.com, and you just go to the front page, click the Amazon button, it takes you to all of these supplies. So, as a recap, my very favorite Danner supplies. All right, it, no matter what kind of leather you're working with, most of the Danner shoes can all be treated the same way. I have um, Neat's Foot Oil. Well, first you would clean the boot. If we're going from beginning to end, you can skip steps if you want, but my suggestions, clean your boot. Easy suede cleaner, Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. If you want to condition them, um, actually I should stop, let me go another way. When you first buy your boot, you can buy a Scotch Guard. This happens to be my favorite, it's Cadillac Shield. It uh, helps to protect, and it doesn't waterproof, but it helps to protect the leather. You can also buy something like a, a Danner Waterproof Boot Care for Nubuck suede and fabric. Uh, clean the item, apply this waterproofing spray, allow it to dry, and there you go. Uh, they also offer it with the dauber in instead of the spray. Uh, so that's protecting your shoe. <clears throat> then, um, let's say your boot's dirty, go ahead and clean it first with the Easy Sway Cleaner. Then you can choose. You can go an oil or you can go with a lotion. Uh, the lotion is my favorite, and this is the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Leather Lotion, and it's on my shopping cart, my Amazon shopping cart. There's also the Neats Foot Oil. Uh, Neats Foot Oil is not great for a place that has mold, so keep that in mind. If you do go this route, I suggest that you buy a, you know, or just get a, a recycled container and dedicate a brush to it, so that when you come home at the end of the day or whenever you decide to do it, 
You can just slather it all over your boots and then walk away and not worry about it. That keeps them from drying out. If you are a shoe fan and you love your boots and you want to kind of take it, your treatment, your care for the boots to the next level, then I recommend investing in that next thing like the boot dressing. And I love Danner. I picked Danner. I actually sell in my store the Danners, but I also sell Lincoln and some other products. But I love the Danner because it's kind of a combination of a cream and a wax and it does the same trick and Danner made it. So if you're buying a Danner boot, Danner has really thought this out <laughs> and that's really great. So also some other really great things that Danner offers happens to be some great laces. So they do replacement laces. When you are going to buy laces, be sure to measure the lace. Don't take the word for it on the package because they don't always match. Measure your laces and then order them. Also, you can indulge in some really, really comfortable socks. And that doesn't suck. These are awesome. They're kind of pricey, but I think if you're working in them every day, um, you know, spend a little bit of extra money on yourself. You're in these boots typically for most people all day, every day. And I can tell you that by adding these products, especially the orthotics, maybe a good pair of socks, you're gonna feel amazing. Amazing and it will happen right away. So you've got my word on that. That's that's what I'm saying <laughs> And I only say that from experience because I'm wearing their socks I'm wearing the orthotics and my feet never hurt at the end of the day and I'm a foot care professional I've been in the business for so long and I've seen so many troubled feet that doing these little bit of things really do help in the end cumulatively so we are done Tomorrow we are gonna be reviewing Danner hunting boots and I'm really excited because I own some myself and that's gonna be a lot of fun. So you get to see some more uh, great boots and quality footwear. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning from Hawaii and coming from my little shop, If The Shoe Fits, Terry Edmonds, aloha.